Welcome in to Believe in Nebraska. I'm Caleb Henry. Let's hop into Huskers today for November 8th, 2024, powered by Husker Max. Nebraska volleyball, number two in the country, dominated the first set, survived a tough second to earn a sweep in Eugene over number 12, Oregon, last night. Huskers hit 278 for the match, holding the Ducks to 133. Harper Murray and Taylor Landfair led the way with 14 and 13 kills, respectively. It was also another record attendance match with Nebraska's involvement, as Matthew Knight Arena had 8,566 on hand. That's nearly 1,200 more than the previous record set last year. The Pacific Northwest trip continues Saturday in Seattle. Huskers take on the Washington Huskies 9.30 p.m. Central on the Big Ten Network. Nebraska wrestling begins their season tonight at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. Coach Mark Manning on his team's expectations for the 2024-25 campaign. Really kind of through the roof. You know, we... We have great belief in our team. We have, you know, you have to put, you know, to be able to, you know, we we were third at Big Tens last year. You know, we're we're in we're in the midst of a dynasty right now with Penn State. They they've won 11 out of the last 13 national titles. So, I tell our team, hey, Patriots, they're not still winning. Someone beat them, right? So. <laughs> But it has to, it takes a, uh, you know, a courageous team and, and a team that, that is, is built for the long run. And, you know, you got to be tough at every weight class because they're tough at every weight class. So, you know, it's, uh, it's fun. We're in a tough league. Obviously, Big Ten and wrestling is, uh, is the most dominant and, and um, productive as far as how many All-Americans and national championship champions it puts out so we're uh we're we're in a good spot though we like our we like our team we have we have a veteran and jacob van d is a, a sophomore coming back at 133 bubba wilson's down a weight class at 165 and so we really like our lineup and uh and we like a lot of young guys on our team that are have shown great promise and and we've recruited well and our guys have really bought in over the spring and summer. So that's why I have optimism because of the spring and summer of, you know, our wrestling room is always full up there six days out of the week. So our guys have really put in a lot of work and uh, it, it's paying off in development and we see guys getting better. So, but it all starts for real on Friday night and, Nebraska football is off this week, but that doesn't stop the power rankings. Matt McMaster has the Big Red at number 10 in his latest Big Ten rankings, with the top four being Oregon, Ohio State, Indiana, and Penn State. College Huddle has Nebraska at 12, with the top four of Oregon, Indiana, Ohio State, and Penn State. Nebraska women's basketball back in action Saturday, hosting southeastern Louisiana. That game is slated for a one o'clock tip and can be streamed on Big Ten Plus. Nebraska men's basketball also back in action on Saturday. Huskers host Bethune Cookman, 7 p.m. Central on Big Ten Plus. Coach Fred Hoiberg talked this week about the unique challenge his team is facing early with these opponents. It is, yeah, and and they uh, we we've had great looks. I, I've been really pleased with the three opportunities that we've had so far with Utah, with with uh, with Grand Valley, and now with UT Rio Grande, of giving us three really good looks of what we're going to see as the season progresses, especially in league. And they they did they they do a lot of things that test you with their pressure, with their uh, their ability to crash the glass. And, uh, and obviously their ability to shoot. And then, yeah, this team is. They will go quite a bit into the ISO, and they've got guys that are very talented in, uh, uh, in those mid-range spots. Reggie Theus, obviously, has been doing this a long time at every level. I worked with Reggie in Minnesota when he was in the coaching staff and I was in the front office. So I think the world of him, and uh, you know, he's, he's going to have these guys prepared. Earlier today on the Nebraska Ball Brunch Show, Jack Mitchell and I updated our confidence ratings in Nebraska men's basketball getting back to the NCAA tournament now through one game of the season. Caleb, I can say with full confidence, uh, without any reservation, that after giving a 3.5 on week one, I am this week, after all that you mentioned, 
happening, the roller coaster of events. I can very, uh, the number is obvious to me this week. I be, I knew right away when I woke up this morning, it is 3.5. Oh my God. No, are you, are you no, there was nothing to move at all? No, it impacted my, that beating, winning that game changed nothing in terms of my opinion yet. It, it was kind of close for a while. They ended up winning it by 20. Um, uh, no, it didn't. It did not. No, I don't think. It, do you think one game? Well, I'm curious what happened with you. It didn't um, move at all. It didn't not move even at what all. they no. did. At, what they did at Creighton, where oh, it took of course an all timer performance from their seven foot eight guy who had to shoot ninety nine point nine percent from the field, and then oh. their tiny ass point guard had to make a million for a million free throws, and all of that just to beat UTRG Alphabet. Yeah. No, no, well, not at all. Nebraska and, won by 20 with, yeah, Bryce Williams had a career high at Nebraska, but he didn't even get to 30 points. You had a ho-hum performance. Yeah, you shot a bunch of free throws, but it was just another day in the park for a 20-point win, whereas Creighton had to go and be historical in order to beat him. My, my, my confidence meter for Creighton went down. <laughs> <laughs> Turning our attention now to some Husker headlines, Tanner Johnson notes Nebraska football's losing streak, not just of the last three games, but also of eight straight with a bowl berth on the line. It's got to come to an end here in November, preferably against USC. Matt McMaster says the time for talk from Nebraska football is over, and it's time for Matt Rule and company to show program growth with at least one win in November. That'll do it for Huskers today for November 8th, 2024. Don't forget to subscribe to Believe in Nebraska on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to visit HuskerMax.com for all the latest in Huskers news and subscribe to the Husker Max YouTube page. I'm Caleb Henry saying GBR as always and Believe in Nebraska. Mm-hmm.